Oh, oh, this is fast. Oh, this is steep. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. It's brew day, and James, Martin, and Jack from Main Street Brewing are in Whistler, making a winter adventure hot chocolate beer that takes full advantage of the region's wide range of life-threatening winter sports. We've got our pine needles, we've got our cocoa nibs, we've got our milk sugar, we've got malt. Jack, this is gonna be the most extreme, adrenaline-packed wilderness beer ever made. Sounds like a good day. At base camp, the guys will mash in. Then, they'll hook the mash tun to the snowmobile and let the mash rest as they speed up the mountain to the zipline station. There, they'll attach it to the zip line and set it, and themselves, off down the mountain at over 60 miles per hour. From there, they'll trek to a yurt, where they'll transfer and boil the wort on a system David has ready and waiting. After adding the rest of the ingredients, they'll divide the wort into three high-strength backpack reservoirs and ski or snowboard the rest of the way down to base camp to pitch the yeast. No problem. So we've got some pale malts. Some chocolate malt uh -huh. to add the chocolate flavor and some roastiness and color. Oh, the smell coming off, that's incredible. It would be a great way to start the day, just a nice glass of this mash. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. They're going so fast. We've got to do that with a mash tun in a kettle today. How about we just watch the zip liners go overhead and just do the whole thing here? No. Nope. This is not a good idea. David, Martin, this is not a good idea. Fun, and by fun I mean completely terrifying. Oh. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, oh damn! Oh, no. We've capsized it. Okay, the wart's fine. Not even a drop. The wart's fine. What about James? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You okay, James? Oh no 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 no. no. Oh, no, no, no. Too fast. Oh, no. I hate Martin. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. We have made it. There you go. Away. Lift and clip. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go head over to the yurt. You guys have a great flight. Good luck. Pull the pin. All right. Woo! Oh, it's fast. You look scared. Is he screaming? Woo! Hear a girl screaming. Well, I haven't seen him fall off into an explosion of snow yet, which can only be a good thing. So we know that this line is working pretty well, so I'll use it. <laughs> I think he's either crashed into a wall or he's made it. Yeah, good flight. So that was fantastic. Jack, have you made it down yet? I think I'm uh, ready for a hot mash done. Coming your way. <laughs> oh, that's fast. <laughs> that's that's fast. Speed of it. Oh no. <laughs> Jack, it's coming in like mega fast. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, oh, it's too fast. It's too fast. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. <laughs> Over a thousand feet up. Ah! It's so fast. Oh, no. Too fast. Too fast. Ah! Come on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. OK, so that was absolutely terrifying. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Ah. I don't think my legs is getting to work anymore. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> Start the transport. We're off. Definitely got a nice colour pickup for the dark malts. Initially in the nose, you're getting a huge amount of chocolate, of smoky caramel in there as well. I'm interested to see what this is like when we get the pine needles in there. Putting some alpine forest into the beer. Absolutely. We're going to have a bit of acidity, a lot of bitterness from the chocolate. Hopefully this lactose can add a bit of sweetness to balance that out. The other great thing about adding the lactose is it'll give us that real creamy body and mouthfeel. It's that kind of 
milk and cream that they use to make the best hot chocolates. Quality stuff. Perfect. Well, let's get some of those Douglas fir needles in and James, some amazing cacao. <laughs> so these are South American nibs. This is getting me death by chocolate. An apocalypse. A chocolate apocalypse. A chocolates. It's a good name for the beer. Let's get it into the backpacks and attempt at least to ski down this mountain. Woo. Jack, have you got any last minute advice for me? Probably more lessons. Okay, well, let's cool this work down and head to base camp. And then, uh, wait, but I thought you were getting wait for me. It's fine, I've got this. Just don't wait up on me. I'll be with you soon. Oh, it's going a bit too fast. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. Oh. I might be coming. I'll just stand up. Oh, oh, this is fast. Oh, this is steep. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. Martin and Jack, I'm coming to get you. Ah! Oh, I've lost a ski again. No. Walking down a hill, that's what men do. And for four summers straight, I didn't manage to get that job. James. Where the hell are your skis? A long story. Well, I'm glad you're safe. We were thinking about sending out a search party. Oh, make yourself useful. Cheers. Once we put in some yeast, this is going to be the ultimate winter experience beer. First of all, you're going to get masses of chocolate, but if you dig underneath that, there's so much complexity in this beer. You're getting the piney resinous notes with the pine needles. The whole time you're getting the contrast between hot and cold, bitter and sweet. A hot, hot chocolate beer. What do you taste? It kind of threw me off at the beginning. I uh, wasn't really sure what to expect, but kind of the more I got into it, the more I realized how complex it was. The chocolate came through like really forward. The coolest part of it is the spruce. It cleans up the chocolate, it makes it a little more fun to drink. Plus, I've never had a hot beer, and that makes it a little more entertaining.